Hello everyone, Carlos here. So on today's video, I want to talk to you about something that is happening very recently. And that is that there's a vulnerability that was found in KeePass that has been reported several times throughout the year to the KeePass development team. And it recently got a CVE and the KeePass team is actually disputing that. And I think this is going to be very important to many of our customers because we have got an increase from several of them were, hey, LastPass was breached, our vaults were stolen, keys to the vaults were actually stolen also. It can be easily brute forced. Where do we move from here? And many users in many environments have actually just moved to this open source solution to manage their personal passwords. Some customers are actually going like, we need an alternative to LastPass, given what has happened. Uh, keep as is free, it's open source, let's move over there. So let's discuss this vulnerability in a bit more detail. So this vulnerability actually got a CVE called CVE 2023-2455, and there's actually a proof of concept code that was released for it. When we look and read throughout the advisory itself, one of the things that we're going to notice is that it's not that difficult. The only thing we have to do is modify the keypass config.xml for the user or the system wide configuration to trigger an export of the database to a given path. Now, once that database is exported to that given path, all of the passwords are going to be undeclared text. In addition to that, we can even do a trigger that is going to run an application. That application could be even PowerShell, could be C script, could be whatever we want that is going to grab the content of that file and export that to a controlled server. In this case, they're using PowerShell.exe, execution bypass, no profile, and they're doing an invoke web request and they're sending the data as a post. Now, in this system, I actually have KeyPass installed. So if I go over here and I do key pass and I open my key pass vault, I enter my secure password, the planet, and I go in, I have a user called Joe, which has a password for his chart point. Uh, what happened in the background actually is that when we go over here into file explorer and we go into C, users, administrator in this case, local app data. And we go into our temp folder. I name mine exploit.xml. Here we go, exploit.xml. When I open this file, let me look for yo inside of it. So I'm looking for Joe. Here we go. User name Joe, title chirpoint, has the URL, and here's my password, my secret. So as you can see, it's all in clear text. Uh, the KeePass team is actually arguing that this is not a vulnerability. Back when we go over here into the SourceForge KeePass discussion, and we look at the different replies from the KeePass team, if we go right here to the end, they're actually telling you that any spyware that can write files to disk, uh, KeePass is not protecting. And, and, you know, we want to incur cost. Uh, we want the attacker to incur cost. We don't want the attacker to be able to have it this easy, that they can create triggers, which are going to export all of my passwords, which are protected by a master password and very secure encryption to just by simply creating a file and next time that I use that application, they're going to be getting all of my passwords in clear text and they can even have it exfiltrate the data for me. Um, yeah, that to be honest, doesn't sit well for me. I do understand, yes, if a user is administrator in a system, they can disable controls, they can do a, a bunch of stuff. But in this case, even as a regular user, if I create this file in my app local data, or if I want to just modify the one in program files, I'll be able to have access to all of the passwords. 
the R in that vault. That is bad. Those features, to be honest, should not be there. I don't see why a password manager would have those as trigger for when the application starts. It doesn't make sense to me. But let me show you inside of KeePass where those triggers live. So this is my KeePass application here. I'm in my vault. If I go over into tools, I go into triggers. Here's my trigger. And when I edit this trigger that was added, it actually says as an event, when the application starts and is ready, it's going to have an action of exporting the active database and is going to be going into a specific folder. Now as an attacker, I don't need to know the specific folder. I can actually just use relative paths to achieve this. So as you can see, this issue in my mind is a serious one. And from the point of view of the research team, when we're writing tools and we're writing ways for our, our red team and pen testers to be able to obtain this data, like you saw in our article that we recently did in our blog post, where we were able to extract from LastPass from memory in a given time, some of the credentials. Actually, LastPass was doing a very good job in just keeping those credentials in memory for a very short time. We were able to retrieve those, but the cost of entry there was very high. Same thing happens with 1Password and other solutions out there. There's a high level of cost in terms of skill set, tooling, and work that has to go up front to be able to extract those passwords from memory. In this case, with KeePass, that cost is not there. And yeah, I do believe that it should patch that. And just in case, not only is this useful for extracting passwords, I can also persist. If I can run PowerShell, I can run C script, I can run whatever executable programs out there. I can use this as a persistence technique on the system itself also. So it doesn't affect only the access to the credentials, but it also provides access to an attacker to remain in that systems once they're there. Again, thank you for your time. I hope that you found this video useful and remember to like and subscribe.